My name is Jeff Place. I'm in charge of the Ralphrens or Folklife Archives and Collections at the Smithsonian Institution. Peace clouds are rolling. Peace clouds are rolling. War clouds are boiling. Peace clouds are rolling. Do People ask me like if I can pick my favorite Folkways album out of that collection. It's just so much. It's like, oh, that's almost an impossibility. But over the time, I guess I've settled on one. There's one um, guy that I always really liked when I was growing up, a um, guitar player named Mark Spolstra, who's from uh, California, but he used to you know, live in, in Boston. He played 12-string guitar, played, wrote a lot of his own topical f songs about, about Vietnam War and other things, but also played a lot of blues stuff like Man's Lips, and Lead Belly stuff on 12-string. There weren't that many 12-string players out there, there's only a handful at that point. And he had one live album he did, did at the Club 47 in Cambridge, Massachusetts, which was like the big folk club there. Um, it came out on Folkways, and that, that record is one of those ones where, you know, there's like know, maybe 10 tracks and every, everyone's a keeper. said it's so doggone plain Rambling is my notion, and I didn't even know her name. What makes a heart turn cold just before? Well, all the I've been going to the festival now since 1970. I started going there in high school. So I had got a driver's license. My friends and I would go downtown, and hang out, and just watch music. And it was probably people that I saw who were like legends, and I didn't know what I was watching at the time. But it was just music, and it was a fun thing. Of course, this was not long after the Woodstock era. So any kind of festival I could in those days had this sort of Woodstock aura to it. Like people would show up, like you know, and dance, and people would be swimming in the reflecting pool and stuff. But that went on. So those early festivals are great. But in all the years, my favorite still to this day is 1985 when the, the feature, two of the featured things were India was the country and it was this massive like Indian village they built on the National Mall. You went in these stockade fences and it was like you were like there. You had people like musicians and markets and people like bartering and all this. And the other side of the thing was Louisiana. So it was all like New Orleans and Mardi Gras building parades. There was like uh, Cajun music, you name it, you know, the Hayride String Band and stuff. Bo both those festival programs are just amazing. There's been a lot of good ones, but that's still still number one to me. Where have you been, my blue-eyed son? Where have you been, my darling? Uh, well, one record, record you know that I mentioned is, is the best of Broadside, which is what was basically Broadside Magazine was a uh, little mimeograph magazine in New York that came out in the early '60s that this sort of middle-aged communist couple from Oklahoma put out. It was like basically protest songs. And it was the first place Bob Dylan ever got published and a whole lot of Phil Oaks, a lot of interesting musicians. And they actually had a little tape deck in their living room and they record all these people's new songs they just wrote yesterday, basically unplugged, you know, guitar and vocal. And then Sis Cunningham had a piano and she transcribed all the music and they put it in the, and it sent it out for 25 cents and then all the local musicians and people who bought Broadside would learn it and, you know, and these songs get publicized that way. Well, I had, Folkways put out a bunch of records that came from these tapes, but I got access to all the rest of the tapes that had been in Sis Cunningham's apartment. It's one guy digitized and found some amazing performances by some of these people in their, their younger years. And that came out as a five CD box set. So that was, that was a really great one. The other one I really like of all the ones I've done, believe it or not, is, I, I, is the Sea Shanty record. It's a classic maritime record uh, from Folkways, Smithsonian Folkways. Because I always kind of like Sea Shanties, and it's just a rousing, kind of fun record, you know. Back in the old days of you know, big bearded guys sitting around drinking beer and singing sea shanties, you know, fun stuff. Say no, oh, but don't say it so slow. I see you sleeping. If you want to win, then ramble on your way. Where have you been, my blue-eyed son? Where have you been, my darling young one? It's of a bold reporter, a story I will tell. 
He went down to the Cuban land, the nearest place to hell. He'd been there many times before, but now the law does say the only way to... Oh, Uriah, I'll pack up my trunk and I'll go off to sea and we're bound for the Rio Grande in no way. Bye.